Hello and welcome to Ula Tilly Readings. My name is Lenore and tonight I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is the horoscope for Leo. If Leo is your solar, lunar, ascendant slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. All right, let's get started. And so our card tonight is the Princess of Swords. And let's go ahead and see what these tea leaves have to say tonight. All right. So if you have not subscribed yet, please think about doing that. You can hit the little bell. It'll let you know when the next readings are coming out. And it's free to subscribe. <laughs> it's free. It's free. Okay. So we have this face here. We have the eyes and the nose. It looks like a long beard almost. And we can see kind of this hair up here. Um, it also looks like we have three people standing right on top. Okay. Um, maybe actually we have three. We have another one here, four, five, six. Uh, so we, I think that we have a lot of uh, kind of shifting through emotions. Um, we also have what looks kind of like a wilderness deity to me. It looks a lot like maybe Bacchus. Um, it could be um, Dionysus or, um, you know, one of the many bearded gods. Uh, but I'm going to go with Bacchus because I do feel like there's this sense of really wanting to let go of this overthinking. There's a, just really getting fixated on certain things. Um, and I don't think in the best way, right? Um, this isn't like, oh, I'm really focused and I'm um, getting all my stuff done because I can just stay on task and problem solving and everything's going perfect. Um, no, I think that this is more like you are picking out things that um, maybe you find some kind of guilt or shame or um, it's almost kind of like... Uh, you know, invasive kind of thoughts um, popping up and you just are ruminating on them. Um, I f it's kind of like that energy where, um, you know, you're, you're drifting off to sleep and, and oh, have all of the um, tedium and, and weight of the day is, is kind of um, softly... Uh, you know, the, the ocean is softly kind of, um, dispersing it and it is being kind of washed away, washed away. And then suddenly there's this sharp, <laughs> a sharp and very, very precise thought that comes into your mind and you think like, um, you know, you said something uh, wrong or you, you, you maybe felt like, oh my gosh, did I, um, was I, did, was I like offensive to somebody today? Did I say something that may have hurt somebody's feelings? Um, or I said something silly and it made me look really bad, like just, you know, it made me look like I didn't know what I was talking about. Whatever it is, right? We all have these moments where it's like, oh my gosh, I just realized it all came together. Um, this thing happened and now it's three o'clock in the morning or whatever, whenever you go to bed. Hopefully not at three. <laughs> Don't meet me. <laughs> um, you know, maybe earlier, a little earlier, uh, but you know, it hits you and you think, oh my goodness, that was like, I absolutely, I did the wrong thing. I said the silliest thing here or whatever. And then you kind of go over and over and over. And it's kind of that energy, right? That it's just, um, instant kind of anxiety. <laughs> and, um, and so, uh, and I kind of laugh because, yeah, I have this constantly. Um, and it's always when there's nothing I can do about it, right? 
it's like here is um tonight on the going to sleep show <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna just kind of trot out a few uh really embarrassing moments <laughs> we're gonna trot out some um you know some things that you know you have to get done but you haven't done them yet and you're gonna think about them over and over <laughs> so um you know, I think that there is a sense of like, yeah, this is, it's time for a little break here. Um, I'm ready to kind of get out of this, um, mental prison that I have been putting myself in and, um, I need to have some fun. I need to let loose a little bit. I need to go kind of strolling around in, uh, in reality, in my mind, whatever it is. And, um, you know, f and find some inspiration, uh, do something a little bit different. Uh, get off the normal routine for a day or two. And so um, I, f I find that we have these two people right here. One looks like they're holding a walking staff. This one also walking staff up here. Um, so, and also ascending this kind of uh, it, almost a mountain. Uh, and I feel like this could be maybe that you will be going hiking or um, a sense of kind of accomplishing something. Um, I am a real big believer, and this maybe sounds very juvenile, I don't know, um, but I, <laughs> very millennial of me, and I'm, a, I'm an old, on the cusp of millennial, I only found out I was a millennial in this recently, right, I, I went through many years of my life thinking like, oh, those millennials, you know, um, apparently I am one, um, <laughs> so if we remember, millennials were always said to be kind of those the gold star kids like we had to always have some kind of award um you know a participation award we always were kind of coddled to me to be to be made to believe that we were special in some way which listen i don't see the problem there everybody is is special in their own way we all should be congratulated even if it's over minor things um, so I am really a big believer in setting up little things for myself to do so I can accomplish them and feel good about myself even though it's not that big of a deal like hey I got all my laundry um, washed and folded and put away in the same day. I deserve the biggest gold star, right? Um, so I do, I kind of feel like there's this place where um, you are looking for some confidence, looking for a, a little win in your life, a little kind of wind beneath your sail, right? And so um, yes, I could see something like going hiking, something like intentional movement, maybe um, playing a game, maybe getting tasks done, getting some of these errands done that you have been kind of sleeping on a little bit. Um, whatever it is, uh, I think that we come out on top really starting to feel pretty good about your ability to, yeah, I'm not going to just, you know, um, continue to let these things build up and I'm going to have all these anxiety attacks at 10 o'clock in the evening. Um, I'm in control of my life, right? And, um, and that's, you know, I feel like that's a very Leo, a very Leo energy. Um, kind of, no offense, because, you know, we all, we all, we all get into this mode. Um, but kind of really, um, feels like it does seem like a Leo thing. <laughs> Is letting things kind of pile up a little bit and then tackling it all at once, right? And, uh, and so I can see that maybe this is a time where you are going to be kind of getting all that stuff done, feeling pretty good about yourself. Now, hopefully you will reward yourself because I think you do deserve like quite a little treat or go do something, um, you've been wanting to do, uh, you know, whatever it is, maybe going to the movies. I really, myself, I'm I'm not a Leo, but I do have 
three Leo placements that I can think of. Um, and I think it's what my Mercury, Venus and Jupiter, uh, are my, are my Leo placements. And, um, so I deserve a little treat as well. <laughs> I want to go see Dune too really bad. And life just has gotten in the way. It has not worked out. I had thought I would go when it came out at the beginning of March and have not. So I, I really, really, um, it is my, my big plan for this next month, at least, hopefully it's still in theaters then, um, to get out there with my husband and go and, and see that dang old movie. Um, so I have to get some things done. Luckily, we are moving, so I am accomplishing a lot because I'm packing the house. <laughs> so um, I do. I'm going to keep score of the, of the accomplishments here. Now, we also have uh, the people at the peak there. Now, kind of uh, a sense of love in this one. Look, you can see the head is a heart. So there is a sense of uh, maybe romantic love, maybe some lust. We also have the arrow over here. It's kind of bent. Um, but I do feel like there's this, this urge towards um, some iteration some expression of the beloved and um, kind of a romantic time for you. I think it, it makes sense though, uh, Leo, whenever um, emotions are heightened and you're feeling pretty good about yourself, there is kind of an outpouring and a desire to connect. And um, we also have a person here kind of, it almost feels like uh, shouting out their love into um, the abyss a little bit. So I could see you calling upon the universe to kind of relay your message. Now we also have two people right here kind of coming to meet each other. And, um, and so I do think that there is now, I don't know if this is that you, <coughs> excuse me, are dating or you are trying to meet somebody. Or I almost kind of feel like this is about somebody from your past, somebody that you maybe were trying to date or you did date and things didn't really work out or whatever it is. But, um, I also wonder if this is not your primary relationship, if this is maybe, um, you know, somebody, uh, like I said, somebody that you had dated or tried to date and your mind still kind of wanders back into that place. And there is kind of this draw, um, to, you know, send out feelers or something. Um, and I'm going to tell you right off the bat here, don't, <laughs> do not do it. Um, you know, go, go snooping around, uh, you know, look, look at what they're doing or whatever, and then just don't do it. Don't go backwards. And also, don't even look at what they're doing. Um, I absolutely cannot, like, emphasize enough. It's just not, it's not worth your time. It's not worth getting down that, that tunnel of things. There's so many more interesting things than to be going backwards and, like, dredging up old stuff. Okay? Um... Also, you're a Leo. Like, you could find... I was going to say, you could find anyone, basically. Um, no. Maybe. I don't know. But I think that, you know, there are better options out there. So, yes. Go visiting in your mind. But don't... Don't um, get lost in that. Don't get lost in it. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we have a person in a car, and then we have the, we have a person in a car, and then we have a large dragon. So, I feel like the dragon, obviously, is this year, right? It's the year of the dragon, 2024, and uh, with the car, I feel like there is a sense of moving, 
um, going somewhere. And um, I'm <laughs> I was just going to say, unfortunately, um, it is headed this way, which to the left um, of the bowl indicates to the past for me. So I feel like not only are you like, walk, you're not walking, you're not on a bicycle, um, you're in a car. So you are zooming back there. So this maybe is not... <laughs> <laughs> maybe you are going to be going back and looking for that person. Um, it does seem, it does seem like they have quite a, um, grasp on your heart and mind there. And so I thought I heard my daughter waking up. I don't hear her. Maybe it's the cat. Um, so let's see yeah be careful that's all i have to say be careful no judgment but you know be careful with that um i don't know i mean have you ever gotten back together with one of your exes i feel like it never works out it just it's like always just kind of the f ultimate fool's errand in my opinion maybe i'm just kind of a sour old lady but Oh, and I'm sorry. I let me just say, uh, footnote. I'm not seeing old lady as like a bad thing. I said that before in one of my readings. I was like, I feel like an old lady. Um, I feel like this is. I'm just this is my little rant here. Somebody said that's you're not old and don't put us down as old women or whatever. Uh, I feel old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allowed to say that, first of all. Second of all, I think it is a privilege to uh, to age, to get older, to survive your days. I have zero qualms with getting older. Um, I never thought that I would make it past 25. Um, most of my family has... Uh, passed on before the age of 50. Um, so I'm getting close, hopefully, God willing, um, that I will outlive most of the people of my life um, in my blood family. And so, you know, I'm not ever trying to, you know, put anybody down. But listen, I feel like I am leaping into, um, you know, that crone era. And I am so happy about it. I love it. I love it. And if you knew me in real life, you would know. Um, I have like total old lady vibes. I absolutely do. Um, I even was talking about on one of the other readings the other day and shout out to the, uh, the subscriber here, commenter here that knew about the Dole Women's Club on Facebook. Um, my new favorite thing. These are my people. <laughs> they absolutely are. Um, and so not only do I feel old, I feel quite dull too. So don't, don't think I'm, I'm, um, coming down on anybody because I'm not. It's, I love, I love my configuration and, um, and that is that. So yeah, don't get mad at me. <laughs> don't get mad. All right, so we have uh, this heart. Um, we have a, ooh, we have a little um, hummingbird. Busy, busy, busy. And then we have, it looks like uh, IJ. IJ, maybe a name, initials. So we have this, ooh, ooh, the heart, heart, heart. We have some lips. Yeah, I just feel like, we have two hearts, actually. I feel like this is a time of, hey, I want to get out of my head. I'm tired of being, like, just obsessed with these negative qualities, these negative little events that have taken place. I want to get free a little bit somehow, um, enjoy myself, and... Um, you know, there's a sense of real sensuality, love, lust, desire, um, really indulging in those feelings and those, um, rising sensations. And, 
Um, and I'll tell you, I'm here for that. Definitely. I love it. I love seeing it on here. <laughs> um, I am rooting you on, um, you know, have fun, enjoy yourself, be safe, you know, be careful about, you know, and this is mom, this is mom over here telling you this, um, just be careful about who you let into your personal life, who you let into your sacred spaces. Not everybody has good intentions. Not everybody is to be trusted, even if they seem very, very attractive and wonderful and smart and bright and all these things, you know, funny. Um, just be careful. Do your due, due diligence and, um, and, you know, protect yourself, definitely. So I'll stop with momming you. <laughs> and I also want to look at here. We have a big tree. Um, and the top of the tree actually also looks like a bat. You can see the face right there. It looks kind of cute, actually. So, um, you know, I was looking at this. It looked like the car. It looked like the dragon. But now I'm looking at it just shifted a little bit. And it reminded me of a tree, um, kind of a willow tree. And with that, that bat, I love it. So it, I really feel like there is a sense of, um, yeah, coming out on the night side. So maybe a tendency towards maybe staying up late. Maybe you do stay up till three in the morning. Um, but I do think that there is kind of a willingness to go into these maybe darker corridors of life. Maybe you're, um, and I kind of think maybe quite literally going out in the night, going out in the evening, um, and, you know, being out, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Ooh. being, <coughs> we almost have it, <coughs> there we go. Being out in the world when the when the light has gone, <laughs> um, and and the whatever's going on in the nightlife, I have no idea. I haven't been out out in uh, the wild <laughs> in a long time at night, um, but I imagine um, still a lot of cool things going on, a lot of fun things. So I could see you maybe um, taking some nights and going out, having some adventures. Um, but I also think that you're very rooted, you know, you have a strong foundation, um, you go home and, and you continue on with, uh, the beautiful life that you are building for yourself, that you are dedicated and devoted to. And so a good balance there, which is important, definitely important. All right. So let's see what else. Oh, we're going to do the lightness of being affirmation cards. These are the earth, um, the earth element. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and we'll stop where it feels right. We have the dove, the beautiful little dove. And it says divine will, peace. Let go of the need to prove yourself. Surrender, surrender to gentleness. Surrender to gentleness. Beautiful. Okay. Well, Leo, I'm going to go ahead and tell you I love you because I do. And I thank you so much for spending this time with me. It is always such an honor to be able to bring these messages to you. And if you would be so kind as to like the video, it really does help the channel so much. And if you have not subscribed yet, please think about doing that. You can hit the little bell. It'll let you know when the next readings are coming out. It's free to subscribe. And if you would like to leave a comment, please do. I would love to hear from you. I read each and every one. And um, they mean the world to me. Uh, and also, if you have, <laughs> here I am again asking, um, if you have any um, 
any like uh, TV shows or movies that you really like that you would recommend to, to me or to anybody else that's watching, I would love to hear them. Um, I'm just, I'm going through, uh, you know, I'm packing and stuff. So I'm playing movies, listening to audiobooks. Um, you know, even listening to music, although, um, I'm like kind of a music snob, so maybe not music, but, um, no, I'm kidding. If you, if you have any recommendations for new albums or, or old albums that are really good, also drop those. I'd love to, I like going exploring through the stuff that people recommend on here. Um, things I've never heard of. Um, somebody had, um, recommended Babette's Feast. I think that was what it was called. A wonderful movie. They recommended another one. I have it, um, on a list and I forget, but yeah, whoever recommended that, uh, shout out to you. Awesome taste in cinema. And, um, and yeah, right now I'm watching my husband, like I have shows I watch by myself when, you know, I'm doing stuff during the day. And then at night, my husband and I, we watch like, you know, 20, 30 minutes of a show. So it takes us like forever to get through them. Um, but we are watching, um, what is it called? The Three Body Problem on Netflix. And it has um, Sam from Game of Thrones on it. So that was like the selling point. I was like, oh, I know that guy. <laughs> so um, really good. Um, a sci-fi sci uh, show. Interesting. We're, I think, like on episode two. But I really like it. And, um, but I'm also looking for, uh, something else to watch during the day, or I'm just going to be listening to like, I think Jersey Shore was what I thought maybe I would watch, um, do the whole thing and then Jersey Shore family vacation or whatever it's called. So please help me not do that again. <laughs> Although I shout out to, I, you know, when Jersey Shore came out and this is millennial again, I'm a millennial, so um, but when it came out, I never watched it. I was such, I was a snob then too. I was like, I'm too cool. I'm too, I'm too punk rock or whatever. Um, and I never watched it. Plus I was like pretty broke. Um, when during a good portion of, uh, of the show and I couldn't afford cable in my, you know, in my twenties, early twenties. So, um, yeah, I, I didn't watch it, but then I watched it a few years ago, I guess, when I was like 34 or 35, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> it reminds me of when I was young, although I didn't live like that at all, but yeah, I remember people being like that, kind of, <laughs> so anyways, nostalgia, <laughs> All right, Leo, I'm going to go ahead and let you go here and again tell you I love you and I thank you and we'll talk in just a few days. Take care of yourself. Good night, good night, good night.